welcome to another refreshing and fun field lesson on quantitative reasoning. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at test number 10. Test number 10. Alright. In test 10, we are going to be looking at four examples. In the first example, we will be making use of two basic operation techniques. There is addition and subtraction. Alright, now let's take a look at the picture. Now, in this picture, we can see four numbers. And 150, or the number on top, is the biggest. So, we can try something out with the remaining three numbers. For example, if we add these numbers, can we get 150? Well, let's find out. Okay, 100 plus 30 plus 20. Alright, so if we carefully do this, we are going to get 150. So this is what we do with the three numbers to get the number on top. 150. So now, to get any of the three other numbers, for example, the 100. Alright? So, we make use of the other numbers and do the opposite of addition. For example, to get the 100, we must first of all add the 30 and the 20. And the result is 50. Alright? So, what do we do next? We subtract the 50 from the 150. Alright? This is the opposite of addition. And what is the result? 100. So, this is how we get the 100 or any of the other three numbers. Now, let's look at example number two. We will be making use of addition and subtraction. Now, the picture. This is a square or a rectangular arrangement of numbers. And it is called matrix in mathematics. Now, this particular one is addition of matrix. Now, these numbers on the left can be added to get the corresponding numbers on the right. For example, the 1 in the first matrix can be added to the corresponding 3 in the second to get 4, as you can see. So, it's quite easy to do, alright? However, to get the number on the left hand side, we must do the opposite of addition that is subtraction all right for example to get the four on the left hand side we must do six minus two and that gives us four all right so this is how we get numbers on the left hand side so let's look at example number three in example number three, we are going to be making use of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and uh, division. All right, now let's look at the picture. Now, in this picture, we can see five different numbers, and the number at the middle is 10. To get this 10, we must make use of 1 and the 4, then the 2 and the 3. Alright? Now, how do we make use of this? We multiply the numbers that are connected 
the 2 and the 3 to get a 6. Then secondly, we multiply the 1 and the 4 to get a 4. Now, once we have done this, we must add this result. And once the result is added, we get a 10. So this is how we get the 10. Next, we are going to look at how we can get numbers on the right hand side, the 2 or the 3. Then we also remember that the 2 is connected to the 3 and the 1 is connected to the 4. So we're going to start with the 1 and the 4. So on the board, we multiply the 1 and the 4. So 1 times 4 is 4. Now recall the number at the middle is 10. So we try to subtract the 4 from the 10. So 10 take away 4, which is the result of the previous multiplication. That will give us 6. 6. All right. Now, once we have gotten a result from this, the next and the last step is to divide the 6 by the remaining number. That is 6 divided by 2. The result of this is 3. So, this is how we get the 3 on the right side. Now, the same way you get the 3 is the same way you get the 2. So let's look at how we can get the 1 on the left side. So remember, 1 is connected to 4. And uh, the 2 to 3. Again, on the board, we start with the complete side. Which is the 2 and the 3. So we start by multiplying the 2 by 3 that gives us 6 once we have a 6 we again do a subtraction this time is 10 minus 6 and that gives us a 4 all right so once we have a 4 the very last step is to divide this result 4 by the last number which is the 4 so that is going to be 4 divided by 4. And what would that be? Of course, it's 1. So this is how we get the number on the left side. So the way we get the 1 is the way we get the 4. So finally, let's look at the last example. Example number 4. We'll be making use of subtraction and multiplication. This is the second time in this lesson we're going to be talking about matrix. Now, this time, this matrix is called a determinant. In a kind of determinant where you have two rows and two columns, we say it is a two by two matrix or determinant. Remember, 2 by 2 means 2 times 2. Well, however, this simply means 2 rows and 2 columns. Now, how do we change this to an ordinary number? We simply do a cross multiply. That is, we multiply the numbers across from the left top to the right bottom. Alright, that is what you have seen in the circle. And also, on the other side, we also multiply from the top right to the what? To the left bottom. And so when these results are subtracted, what we get is the result of the determinants. Now let's look at this example. For example, if we have a 5 or 3, that is on the right side 
and just below the 5 we have a 4 and lastly and on the bottom right we have a 5 so how do we get the value that represent this determinant we must therefore follow the rule of multiplying across first we start with the the 5 times the 5 that is from the top left to the bottom right that gives us 25 and on the other side from the top right to the left bottom we have 3 times 4 that gives us 12 remember we subtract the result and when we subtract this result 25 minus 12 what we get is 13 so this is called the result of the determinants all right so this is how we find the value of the determinants all right hope you had great time learning in today's class i encourage you to do your assignments and your quiz